If you've lived in or around Cleveland for any amount of mm -hmm. time, you've heard the names Carl and Louis Stokes. Their names are plastered on many buildings throughout the city. Yeah, for good reason. Their impact has been felt by many. Louis's youngest daughter, Lori, had a front row seat to the civil rights revolution. Only on News 5 tonight, she reflects on what it's like standing on the shoulders of giants. Are the people of Cleveland willing to vote for a candidate for mayor? The world feels their impact. This is the one I was talking about where you're standing on the rickety old steps. Her world is still touched by them. They were just Uncle Carl and Daddy. Ken folk of giants who served a bigger cause. Lori Stokes sat front row. You felt the energy in the house. You heard the chatter. When blacks were openly pushed to the back. You knew something great and bold and a revolution was happening in the living room. We wanted to know what kind of new, bold, innovative... Her father, Louis Stokes, was a lawyer, a congressman, a leader. Carl was the charismatic one. Who with any sense would buy a candidate? <laughs> he was the first black mayor of Cleveland, the first of a major U.S. city. Carl was a man of all seasons. But her father... My dad was the one who was steady, who didn't didn't really need the spotlight, but demanded it. Black people are not represented. He used it to highlight exclusion in because he knew how shady it was. He, along with his other black soldiers, were prepared to fight for this country, but instead they were delegated to cleaning barracks of the white soldiers. Stateside until his final breath in 2015, Lewis, a civil rights veteran, fought on the front lines for equality. Papers and cameras pushed his message. He wasn't a great fan of the media, I have to say. <laughs> Lori and her Uncle Carl became news anchors. He tried to talk to me about my stories and making sure they were well written. And um, he would edit them sometimes. <laughs> Just a dad. Do I wish he was here? Every day, yes. Who lived boldly. Born in revolution. And was easily. A part of its priceless heritage. Unforgettable. He is unforgettable. And I can say, Louis Stokes, there wasn't an election night, many election nights, uh -huh. he was here as our political analyst. Breaking it down. Always a gentleman, come into the newsroom. He knew everything that was happening, every issue. He was always sharp and on top of things. And we just appreciated having yeah. his presence awesome. here at News, uh, News 5 because he helped us get through those nights. Well, she said he didn't have to have the spotlight, nope. but he commanded it. Definitely. You felt his presence in the room. Yes. Yes, great story. And you're one of